big bag, just enough to kill your band. Take a net, rip him back, fight him back, and blow you back. Here at Wolf TV, we have the privilege to learn on the unceded and traditional territories of Kwantlen, Semiamu, Keitsi, and Coast Salish nations. Did you spend half a thousand dollars on a grad outfit? I'll never not be over this. Well, good news. You can wear that along with your cap to your graduation ceremony. If you didn't buy a grad outfit, the traditional cap and robe, totally fine. Just make sure that whatever you're wearing underneath is school appropriate. Grads, remember to pay your graduation fees. It's $50. You can pay online at schoolcashonline.com. Remember to pay it if you want to attend the graduation ceremony. Happy Eid al-Fitr wolves! Eid al-Fitr is an Islamic religious holiday marking the end of Ramadan. During Eid, you get to dress up in your cultural clothes, eat lots of yummy food, and spend time with your family. Eid Mubarak! Hey guys, just here to remind you that Instagram has a new pronoun section. You can go into edit profile, put in your pronouns, and it's just a way to make things feel a lot better for everyone else who's a little nervous about sharing theirs. Pronouns are important because they're a sign of respect. Addressing someone by the preferred pronouns is a huge step towards inclusivity for the LGBTQ plus community. We know not to summarize someone's whole life story based solely on physical appearance. How you look on the outside portrays only a fraction of who you really are. What truly matters is who you are and how you feel on the inside, which is why a feature such as this, which may not seem super significant to you, could be monumental for someone else. We live in a society that is ever-evolving, so making mistakes is totally fine. What truly matters is how you take the steps towards learning and getting it right the second time. Reminder to keep an eye out to receive your first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. We're almost there. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and we wanted to bring it to your attention because it's important to acknowledge the seriousness of mental illness. It's crucial to acknowledge mental health in yourself and in your friends. You can seek help from sources online, parents, teachers, and even friends. If you are struggling with your mental health, especially during this uncertain time, we just want to let you know that you're not alone. There are many things you can do to help brighten your mood. For example, going outside, getting a glass of water, or even doing a craft. Over the next few days, we encourage you to research mental health and take some time for yourself. So we're back again with another teacher feature. Here we have Ms. Martinez. So what was it like living in an entirely different environment for two months? Um, so I went to El Salvador in the summer of grade 10. It was amazing. It really improved my Spanish. Um, it was really great to learn more about my family's culture, my family history, and get to see where my dad grew up and the school he went to and all the people that know our family. Uh, I miss it. I, I really, I really miss going back. What tips do you have for people to stay in touch after high school? I mean, I think um, nowadays it's, it's much easier. Um, my best friends and I, we've been friends since grade eight. Having similar schedules really helped us. We all went to undergrad. We all understood that we were super busy. Um, and so no hard feelings if, um, you know, communication wasn't always the greatest. We understood everyone had um, assignments. We had midterms to study for, we had finals to write. Um, I think also scheduling quality time um, was super helpful and making sure that um, we did connect for um, small milestones, for big milestones, um, for hangouts and things like that. Because if you just leave it to, you know, whenever we're free, there will always be something that stands in the way of that. So oh yeah, know. exactly. What do you enjoy about brain teaser games so much? Because <laughs> I know that you have a huge interest for them. <laughs> yes, yeah, some of my favorite games are The Price is Right, Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune. Um, I think what I really like about all of them is um, I think I just like being right. <laughs> I like, it's almost like a pop quiz every night, every day. Um, I get really excited at thinking at the possibility of how much money I could have won, how rich I'd be, um, and especially being able to get the right answer, especially with Final Jeopardy, you're up against, you know, some of the smartest people that know a lot of like trivia. And it's really great getting that Final Jeopardy or, you know, knowing that, you know, like some really small fact that will never come in handy and suddenly it's on Jeopardy and you're like, oh my gosh, 
<laughs> now's my time to shine so the satisfaction factor is exactly. a huge part of it definitely so and the last question we have is what teacher would you like to nominate for our next episode um i would like to nominate my good friend uh, miss dylan uh she is a social teacher she's also new to salish um, and I've gotten to work with her for quarter three and four, and she's amazing. And um, I just want to share um, her with everybody else here at Salish. Sweet. Do you want to learn more about the performing arts? Do you want to build your confidence on stage and on camera? Then musical theater is the class for you, and we're always looking for new members. If you want to find out more information, you can message Miss Jensen on Teams or email her, or check out Salish Dance and send her a direct message. The disturbing acts that are occurring in Palestine are very heartbreaking. Wolf TV condemns any act of hatred toward any group and we stand for justice. Consider visiting these sites to further enhance your own perspective. Hi you! Don't leave! Seriously guys, let's keep Salish clean. When they say they're doing all this and all that Tired of beefing you bombs, you can't even pay me enough to Statistically speaking, seniors make up 56.25% of Wolf TV's overall population. And we're out of here in like a month, which means we're gonna need some replacements. So if you're gonna be in grades 10 to 12 next year, send us a DM on Instagram. Make sure to check my ad for your point of progress. There is a pretty day on May 31st.